Today I'm gonna to show you how I go from this, using just this, to this in less than five minutes. I recently went on a trip and I was meeting up with some girlfriends and they're like, we can't believe that you actually use that teeny tiny toiletries bag. So I went down and got it and brought it up to the luncheon to show them. Oh, like, she's Mary Poppins. <laughs> That's what they call me. That's what they call That yes, I actually do use this teeny tiny toiletries bag. And yes, I actually keep makeup in it, which they couldn't believe. And many of you have asked me about that. So today I thought I'd do a quick video to show you what's in as far as makeup for my teeny tiny toiletries bag and show you how I use it. go through everything that's in this toiletries bag because I've already done that and I'll link that video up here but many of you have asked what about makeup do you wear makeup the answer is yes so I'm going to go through all the makeup that I keep in this little front pouch in this video all right I don't have my studio set up or even my mic or anything here I wasn't planning on filming but I just want to show you the bag first this is the whole toiletries bag and this side has things like toothbrush toothpaste face lotion, cloths, and things like that. The middle part here carries things like, you know, my comb and things like that. Everything really to do with my hair goes in here. And then this little section is all of my makeup. And what I have in here is some little tiny makeup brushes that I use. I also have a tiny little lip gloss, a mascara, this is my primer and foundation. This is my blush and my bronzer. And then I also have an eye pencil, an eyebrow pencil, and a lip pencil. And all of that will do my face today. So I use, um, I take my um, primer and I just put it in the light side so I know that that's what's in here. And I like putting that on my face because it really does help me get more of an even tone with my makeup. So I always use a primer. I never used to be a fan of primer, but I am now because it does give my makeup a little bit of a nicer um, coverage. The next is my foundation I just squeeze in here. And normally I just take it out of the lid like this because there's enough in here and um, just use that as and I just use my hands because God gave us the greatest tools already. So I just use my hands to get my makeup on. Um, this is IT Cosmetics. And what I like about it is it's kind of full coverage, so I don't need a lot. Um, but if I want full coverage, I can get it out of this. But if I put it on lighter, it's just a nice light foundation. So that's um, what I use. This is my bronzer and blush. And I kind of start off with a little bit of just bronzer just in here, just to give me a little bit um, of the illusion of having some cheekbones. Um, yeah, just a little bit here and then I, up in here. And then I, to give myself a little bit more of a jaw, I will do this here. So I don't know if you can tell here, but it does give me a little bit more of a jaw. And then this pinky, oh, also with this, if I, um, sometimes I'll just do this. I'll just take my little, this little brush right here. I don't know if you can see it. It's such a bad angle. I should really not do this right now, but everyone's been asking about it. So um, I just do a little crease thing here, just a little bit. Um, I just go right under my room. I'm not, okay, so I'm not an expert at makeup. I'm. I really don't wear it that often, but people are coming over this morning, so I will wear it. And then I will take the pink here, this little pinky color, to give a little color to my cheeks, just a little bit. Um, yeah. And a lot of times, that's all I need during the day. It's just a little bit of a color and uh now, here's my other little trick. I take this little brush here and I go into this because I have my little Asian nose. <laughs> and I, I go up along like this and I create this little bit of a um, longer, more 
I guess American looking nose. I don't know, it's not the right word. But um, I just did that there just to give me a little bit more um, definition on my little Asian nose there. And so that's pretty much all I use that for. So we've got my foundation. Now, if I want more of an eyeliner, I will just take a little bit and I don't line the rim of my eyes, the inside. Um, I have Sjogren syndrome, which is why I have eye drops a lot, which is a, a condition, an autoimmune condition where I don't produce the right lipids for my eyes. But I will tell you, it's gotten better since I got off the carbohydrates, it's been getting better. And then I just um, take that same line, and some people pull, but I don't, and I, I just take it up a little bit, just a little, and then bring it over. Like that. So just I have a little bit more um, definition on the outside of my eyes, and then and that's all I do for that. Now, if I want to blend that out a little bit, what I'll do is just take that same little brown. And this kind of just sets a little bit of the of that liner, and just go over it with that powder, just a little bit because it's about the same color. It's um, a, kind of a brown color. And then I'll take this if I want and I'll, I'll go into my eyebrows a little. Um, also, what some of you don't know is I had an autoimmune condition where I lost some of my hair and my eyebrows and eyelashes about 20 years ago. And they came back, but they didn't come back for a long time. It took like 20 years for everything to really come back. Um, I just lost them for a while. So I've always been using eyebrows I actually had my eyebrows tattooed at one point because I just didn't have any, but that's all kind of worn off now. And I do have to use a little bit of a pencil to give myself just a, a little bit. And I just take that well, it's a little bit longer here, just a little, just to uh, give a little more frame to my face. Now we're on the lips and I just do a little line here. I'm not, real precise. I, and you can see I don't even use my makeup mirror. I have a makeup mirror, see, and I don't sometimes use it because I, I don't know, I just don't <laughs> really care about that much um, how precise everything is. Uh, I can't use lipstick. I'm allergic to lipstick. Even with that pencil sometimes, I have to be careful. So I use this tiny little this tiny little look I see how tiny it is look at that it fits right in that little bag so that's it and then the last thing I do and this is my favorite mascara I've tried like every mascara on earth like every mascara on earth I'm actually using the camera to do this right now I don't put a lot of mascara on either um because of my eyes I sometimes if they get dry I rub them and but when, you know, when I want to film or if I'm going to be going out, I do put mascara on. Like today I'll just do one coat, but sometimes I do two. And I sometimes do my bottom lashes, but I'm not going to do them today because I'm just, um, not that, I'm not going to be really on camera or anything today. And my hair, by the way, is three days dirty. This is my hair <laughs> three days dirty because um, because I color my hair, I don't wash it more than twice a week. And so when I curl my hair during the week with that wand that I've shown you, or even with the um, sleep-in rollers, it'll stay like this for days. So because it'll do that, I don't wash my hair very often. And this is my <laughs> full set of makeup for today out of that little tiny bag. Um, so many of you have asked about that. And I do have a couple of other things that I put in my longer term bag, like some other little eyeshadow things that, you know, give me a little bit of sparkle if I'm going out or something. But this is pretty much my game face. <laughs> and I wanted to show you that's what I have in my teeny tiny, teeny tiny toiletries bag with my teeny tiny makeup. So I hope you enjoyed that video. And as usual, juice life, drink the joy, keep life simple, keep your makeup simple. I'll see you in the next video.